Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you just tuning in, my name is Melinda and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. My username on those platforms and also Instagram is tailored and teal. Today I'm bringing you a video of what sold from April 1st through April 15th on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And I did my numbers last night and I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really tired when I did this. So hopefully uh, the numbers are right. I'm not great at math. It's not one of my strong points. So um, don't come at me if it's wrong. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so first off, we're gonna start on Mercari as always, and Mercari actually was really good these two weeks. So I had seven sales. Uh, first sale was an Uno Stacko game. So I actually have had this game in sitting in my own personal closet since I was in high school. And surprisingly, they were going for about 15 to $20 on eBay. So I stuck it up on eBay and Mercari and it sold for $15 for the full asking price. The buyer paid shipping and it went all the way to California. It was in really good condition. I think I played it maybe a handful of times when I was a kid. Uh, next up is a Sony PlayStation 1. So I've legit had this since high school. A friend of mine had upgraded his uh, PlayStation to a PlayStation 2 and he gave me that uh, PlayStation 1 and a random game for me to play. I probably played it a handful of times again um, and then it just sat in my closet for 10 plus years. <laughs> So finally, I tested it, made sure that it worked. Um, it was disgustingly dirty, so I cleaned it up as well. And it sold on Mercari for $25 in two hours. Um, I was really nervous to ship it out because the shipping was very delicate. You know, I had to fit everything right, but thankfully I was able to do it and uh, I got feedback and the customer said it works great. So, fantastic. Next is a Tetris puzzle. This was one of my own puzzles that I got as a Christmas gift one year. Um, it was really hard and I did try to do it, uh, but it just was too challenging for me. So that sold for $8. Then we have a Maybelline Glitter Fix Lip Gloss Set. This was in shade Shadow Hunter, I believe, and it sold for $12. Then we have a Crayola Color Bath Drops a uh, lot so there was two of them this came from a liquidation lot that i got of bath and beauty items and it sold for ten dollars then there was an opal house pendant flower light this also came from a liquidation but it was customer returns however there was nothing wrong with the unit itself and um, it sold for $11. I didn't make a huge profit on that, but I was really just looking to get rid of it. I actually have another one, so if you're interested, let me know. And then the last thing that sold um, from April 1st through April 15th was an Ed Hardy graphic scoop neck t-shirt. This was actually more of a tunic. It was very long, uh, very fitted, and it finally sold for $9. So not huge profits, but uh, there was one, two, three items that was from my own personal closet, so I paid no money for it, so that's great. So on Mercari, of those seven sales, I made $90. There was a $9 fee because it's 10%. I did not pay for shipping for any of these, so it gives me a total of $81 and an average sales price of $12.86. Not bad. All right, so over on Poshmark, I had nine sales. First up is a new with tags threshold solid brown linen panel curtain set. This was a set of two. Um, this came in that liquidation return lot, but there was nothing wrong with the curtains. They still had the tags on them. I had so much interest in these curtains on Poshmark. I, mm, I'm not sure. Let me look. I'm going to look now to see how many likes there were. This item had 14 likes. I dropped the price numerous times during closet clear out. Finally, I did drop this down to $14 for a closet clear out. Someone sent me an offer for 10 and I came back and said, I'm so sorry, this is the lowest that I can go. And they did take that and accept it. And I was glad to see them go because they were very heavy. Thankfully under the $5 um, shipping maximum that you could have. Next is an Obey Bail Bonds Graphic Navy Pullover Sweatshirt. This sweatshirt was really cool. However, there were grease stains all over it. 
but due to the fabric being a dark color, it wasn't as easy to see it, but as soon as I got it under my lights, I could see it instantly. I did try to stain treat it. It didn't work. This also had a lot of interest, and finally it sold for $10 during closet clear out. Then we have a denim and company purple Aztec quarter zip fleece. I loved this thing, and if it fit me, I would have kept it myself. Um, it sold for $21. Next up, we have an Athleta Fast Track Light Green Racer Back Tank Top. This sold for full asking price of $22. It even had a small uh, rip that someone had sewed up pretty well, and it still sold with that flaw on it. Then we have a Lafayette 148 Blue Printed Box Pleated Skirt. This thing was beautiful. It sold for $30. It was a size 14, so it, it was a great size. Um, I had a really hard time describing it. I thought that was like a pinwheel pattern or even like a Dutch pattern, but I just ended up putting blue printed and thankfully it sold. <laughs> Next up, we have an old navy block heel peep toe mule in cognac, the color, and they sold for full asking price of $20. Then we have a Simply Vera Vera Wang plush velour pajama hoodie. I actually purchased this or thrifted this for myself, but it did, it was too big. So I put it up and it sold on best offer for $14. Then we have a J Jill smooth fit cropped ankle light wash jeans. These also I purchased for myself. However, they did not fit. So they sold for $19 and that was an offer that I sent out to the customer. Okay, and then we have a Joy of Coloring Nature's Wonders coloring set. These were um, like 11 by 17 posters that you could color in yourself, and they sold for $12. This was actually a really hard item to ship because I didn't have a box long enough for it. I ended up using the game board boxes, the game board priority boxes, and it was that box was even too long, but it was a box that I went with. It felt kind of silly to send it in such a big box, but that's what I had to do. All right, so on Poshmark, again, nine sales. I made $162 in sales. I had $34.20 in fees. I did give out two shipping discounts of $4.24, giving me a total of $123.56 and an average sales price of $18. Moving on to eBay. eBay, I had 27 sales. All right, so first up on eBay, we have a pair of LL Bean 100% Linen Favorite Fit Pull-On Drawstring Pants. These were a size 10. They sold uh, via my prom promoted listings and also on my 15% off sale that I was running for $21.24. And this, sale was a little confusing on PayPal. So the customer actually paid with an e-check, which I've never had anyone pay with an e-check yet. And apparently instead of paying for it with a credit card or debit card that automatically takes it out, they'll do an, an automatic debit from their account, like an e-check, and it takes up to five days to clear. And this took exactly five days to clear. So uh, PayPal doesn't recommend that you send out the item until it actually clears. So I had to wait for the payment to go through. Um, thankfully, it did not count against me because on eBay, it doesn't show that the buyer actually paid until that clears the PayPal account. So um, I explained it to the customer and said, hey, just wanted to let you know um, your e-check will clear, but it's gonna take a few days. So you won't get your item until whenever that goes through. But she was very understanding and she said, no problem, I'm super excited to get them. And um, again, they sold for $21.24. Right, then we have a Cupio floral embroidered boho peplum ruffle tank top. This did not last long in my uh, store. It sold pretty quickly, uh, $13.50, and that was an offer that I sent to the customer. I think it was listed for maybe two to three weeks. Then we have an American Eagle Outfitters Pullover Wool Blend Aztec Print Sweater. I was honestly surprised that this took as long as it did to sell. It was a great um pattern great material but it, it did finally sell for uh $21.24 again with my 15% off promotion that I was running 
Then we have a Fergalicious by Fergie Black Faux Snakeskin Heels. These were from my own closet that um, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them. They were way too high for me, but they were super cute and they sold for $8. Then we have a T and Rose. So it's T, like a tea bag, T E A, the letter N, and then Rose, which is a Francesca's brand. Um, it's a blue floral eyelet lined circle skater skirt, and it was a size large, and it sold for $15.29, which was part of my 15% off promotion. Then we have um, a black and white geometric print tie front midi dress. This came in a lot that I bought a while ago. Um, it had no tag in it, no fabric tag, no nothing. Um, but I tried it on, I measured it, so I estimated it that's a size large and I was willing to take a lower offer because there was nothing really that I could go off, off of. So it sold for $7.00. Then we have a new inbox Spa Solutions Gel Bead uh, Therapeutic Face Mask. I actually purchased this for Amazon when I was doing Amazon last summer. Um, never actually sent it in because I quit Amazon before then. And it sold for $8.49, part of my 15% off promotion. So this next one I'm actually getting returned to me. Um, it's a Jaclyn Smith Wrap Front V-Neck swimsuit. This was my mother's that she didn't want anymore. Um, it did sell for $12.74 with my 15% off promotion. However, um, I just got a message this morning asking if it could be returned because it's too big and I do accept returns. The buyer does have to pay for the shipping cost of it, but I, um, I do offer that as an incentive for the customer to purchase an item. And this was my mom, so it was zero cost to me. So I will relist it and see what happens. So we have a Michael Michael Kors Coral Zipper Ruched Side Long Tank Top. And this was sold for $16. Then we have more of my mom's stuff. It's a lot of two, the original Ventures of Raggedy Ann. These are both in great condition, hardback. Um, and it sold for a best offer of $5. I know I probably could have gotten more, but honestly, I was just looking to get them out of the house and onto new hands. So young minds can read them again. <laughs> um, good thing about this is that even though they were heavy, like almost six pounds, it went through media mail. So it was very inexpensive to ship. Then we have an intimately free people, orange lightweight thermal tank top. Funny enough, this also was bought by an e-check, but this one came from Canada. Um, so again, it took five days for it to clear. I explained it to the customer. They said no problem. And it sold for $13. Then there's a new with tags, express drinks, alcohol list, corset, lace up tank top. This sold via promoted listings for $15. Then we have a signature by Robbie B floral beaded linen shift dress size eight. This had really pretty uh, beading around the neckline, really cute floral pattern, kind of reminds me of like 70s, a 70s vibe to it. And it sold for $12.50. Then we have a Little Big Planet 3 Sony PlayStation 4 game. This was my own personal game that we played until we couldn't play anymore. Um, and it sold on best offer of $9. Then there was a uh, me exclamation point bath lavender lullaby bath bombs. It was a six count came in a liquidation lot and it sold for $8 and 49 cents. That was on a 15% off promotion. Then there's a J crew factory city fit stretch chino shorts that had like this really strange pattern to it. It was polka dotted. It was squiggly lines. It was pink. It was green. Um, but it sold and it sold for $13. You ever pick up something that you're like, why did I pick this up? This is never, ever, ever going to sell. This next piece is exactly that for me. Um, so this is a metaphor gray space dye split back three quarter sleeve blouse. It's a size medium. It sold for $11. And honestly, I was happy to even get that. I don't know if I was thinking that metaphor was like close to theory or philosophy or one of those other brands. But um, that was when I was a rookie and I didn't 
know exactly what I was doing or really I was just learning along the way. Then we have a vintage Glentex hand knit shawl. This was made in Japan. It was um, like a triangle um, oval scarf. Really, really pretty. Did have some condition issues. Um, it did smell very old and vintagey. Um, so I did disclose that and it sold for $10. Then we have a Pets Rock Puzzle, uh, 550 pieces. My fiance and I got this for Christmas. We put it together once. It was really fun. It actually didn't take any time at all and it was a really cool puzzle, but I figured during this time it would be really nice to pass it along to somebody else that could use it while everyone's under quarantine and it sold for $5.50. Then we have an Athleta Purple Athletic Tennis Skort. Um, this was a size small tall, which was interesting, and it sold for $12. It sold relatively lower because it had a small snag or a discoloration spot. I forget which one, but um, that's why I took a lower offer. Then we have a Susan Hutton Semi Sheer Cream Hidden Button Floral Embroider, or no, no floral, front embroidered blouse size 12. This was actually one of my aunt's blouses and she gave me a whole bunch of stuff to sell and I put it up thinking, what could it hurt? And it sold for $11.04 under my 15% off promotion. So these, um, these next pair of jeans are interesting, an interesting story at least. So it's Mother Denim, Mother, which is great, the Rascal Cuff, in orange zest which was more of like a goldish orange to me and these were size 24. so i got these from thread up um when before quarantine happened or when covid started happening and um when i got them they weren't in as great condition as i wanted them to be however i put them up for a reasonable cost i thought and uh, someone sent me an offer for 35 dollars and I believe these sold in a day or two. So I will try to find mother in the future because it did go rather quickly. And we have another one of my mom's pieces. This was a vintage Raggedy Ann coin bank. It was made in 1972. It did have some issues like some paint chipping and whatnot, but still in really nice condition. And it sold for $7.64. This next sale was sad. So it's a, a green ceramic glazed turtle on a pedestal. It looked vintage, but I wasn't quite sure. So I put vintage question mark in the title. <sighs> I accidentally said that I would pay for shipping. This thing weighed over one pound. I accepted an offer of $15, not, not knowing that I had said I was going to offer free shipping. So I actually lost about three to four dollars because my cost of goods were a bit higher because I got this at an antique store. However, it was really cute and I hope that the person really enjoys it. Um, I should have, I should have kept it. Oh well, I'll get another one soon. All right, then we have a Talbot's plaid quilted lightweight jacket. This was, um, oh, it's going to Germany. That's right. I just remembered. Um, it sold for a best offer of $25 and it's headed to Germany. Um, I honestly do not know anything about the international shipping and what COVID has been doing to it, but it doesn't stop people from buying things. I had two international sales on the same day. So I know that people are still shopping out there. Then we have two more sales. One is a Hollister Jr.'s light wash skinny jean. This was a size 3R. This came in a recent thread up denim rescue box and it sold on best offer of $8. Wasn't in the best condition. And then a Zara Trafaluk um, Heather Gray drawstring moto style jogger sweatpants. These were, um, I think that there was like a small hole that was repaired in the crotch seam somewhere. So I did disclose that. So they did sell lower than what I would have wanted for $11 and 75 cents. All right. So out of those 27 sales, I made $351 and 42 cents in sales. I had $63 and 63 cents in fees, giving me a total of $304 and 79 cents on eBay.
at an average sales price of $13.02. I'm okay with that low average because I got a lot of things out that I didn't actually pay money for. So things that were given to me or my own. So I'm okay with that. All right, so total total is $603.42 in sales. $94.07 in fees and also the shipping discount that I include in there, giving me a whopping total for April 1st through the 15th of $509.35. <clears throat> so honestly, I have not seen a dip in my sales from COVID-19. I still think that, I think that people were scared in the beginning of when people were being quarantined and locked down. But now I think that people have gotten their stimulus check. Um, maybe they got their taxes back as well. So people are buying and as long as I'm having at least one sale a day, I'm happy and I can't complain. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. Um, I, as I said in my last video, I'm over 100 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching me talk <laughs> and seeing what's sold from my stores. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.